大家好，欢迎收听今天这一期的早安英文，我是卡拉。And this is Dylan. So Dylan, you've lived in China for quite some time. Have you found it difficult to adjust your life to China? Uh, yes and no. There are things that I find much easier to do in China than in America, and vice versa. What? Vice versa? Yeah. 啊，就是反之亦然的意思。所以就是有的事情呢，觉得会简单一些；有的事情又觉得麻烦一些。What exactly do you find different? Uh, well, as you all know, I absolutely hate driving in China, but it is getting better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. But there are more things I think are easier to do in China, like、uh, ordering food. I can have dinner delivered right to my doorstep. I also love China's farm-to-table culture. 这里呢，呃、uh, ，给大家解释一下，这个 doorstep 就是你的门街， mm -hmm. 所以呢，它的意思就是说，因为我们中国的这个外卖啊，可以送到你的家门口，这一点非常的开心。然后呢，这个 farm to table 意思就是，它字面意思是农场到餐桌，所以呢，就是说食材非常的新鲜。In America, you can only have a few things delivered, and if you want fresh vegetables, you'll have to go to a supermarket or a grocery store. 这个。这个 supermarket 和这个 grocery store 是什么不同吗？啊、uh, ， it's like a grocery store but with a lot more things in it, like clothes, electronics, and whatnot. 哦、oh, ，好的好的。所以是不是除了这个 supermarket 和这个 grocery store， 还有一个叫做 hypermarket， 对不对？ Yeah. In America, there are three types of stores to grocery shop at. First, we have a hypermarket, a supermarket, and a grocery store. Hmm, that might be a good thing to talk about today. 那我们今天呢，就来聊一聊这个到超市购物的英文。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Maybe we should start by defining the differences between hypermarket, supermarket, and grocery store. 嗯，我觉得非常的必要。So a hypermarket is like a supermarket, but it also has department stores inside. Uh, like you know, it's a combination of Goms, H and M, and uh, a grocery store. 嗯，就是首先呢，从规模上来讲，这个 hypermarket 比 supermarket 更大。从作用上来讲呢，这个 hypermarket 一般包括 supermarket 和 department store， 就是百货商场，就是我们说的那种啊、呃，所以 hypermarket 就是我们说的那种大卖场。那除了普通在超市买得到的东西呢，还有这个，比如说服装啊、啊休闲啊、娱乐啊等等一起的。所以呢，这个 hypermarket 是大卖场， supermarket 是我们说的普通的超市。A supermarket is smaller than a hypermarket with less products to choose from. You'll often find household products like cleaners, TVs, furniture, while at a grocery store you'll only find food. 哎，所以我们平时讲这个 go grocery shopping 就是去 go buy food 吗 ？Yeah. 哦、oh, ，所以呢，平时我们比如说在剧里面经常听到讲这个 grocery store， 它就是指的那种只卖食品的这种超市。So let's take a trip into an American supermarket and explain some of the things we'll do while we're there. Okay, sounds good. Okay, use your imagination. Hmm. First, you'll need to make a list of all the things you need to buy from the store. This is called a shopping list. It's very common in America. 嗯，就是这个购物清单。In America, we tend to buy a lot of food at once and store it in our house, in the fridge, freezer, or pantry. Fridge or freezer 有什么不一样？不一样的。呃呃， so the freezer is actually what freezes things, makes them hard like ice. Oh, 行。Yeah. 所以这个 fridge 就是冰箱，然后呢，这个 freezer 就是这个冷冻室，然后这个 pantry 就是食品。呃、uh, ， yeah， like place where you store food. 对，食食品储存室。So when you first get to the store, you'll need to get something called a shopping cart. This is a large basket on wheels 
that will hold your groceries. 嗯，就是我们平时去超市一开始呢，就要拿的那个购物车 shopping cart. Yes. If you don't have many things to buy, you can grab a basket. 就是那个篮子。如果你没有太多的东西的话，你就可以提一个篮子就好了。You'll need to be careful when shopping and try to put the more delicate items at the top of the cart, like eggs and bread and chips. 嗯，这个非常的细心啊。这个 delicate items 就是那种比较易碎的、比较脆弱的物品，要把它放在这个上边，不要压坏了。The store will be divided up into sections, and these sections are called aisles. Each aisle will have a different category of food. 嗯，我们知道超市的这个商品呢会分为不同的类别。那这个类别呢叫做 aisles。其实这个词的本意啊，就是指那种比如说教堂啊、火车、飞机啊，或者说超市货架之间的那个走道或者过道。When you're done getting what you need, you'll then need to go to the checkout counter. This is where you'll pay for your groceries and use any coupons you may have. 嗯，这里面呢有两个关键词。首先呢，我们挑选完自己想要的东西之后呢，你就要去那个 checkout counter， 就是那个付账的柜台。然后呢，就呃叫做收银台。然后呢，你可以使用所有你有的这个 coupons， 就是你的优惠券。When the cashier starts to check you out, he or she will say paper or plastic. This means what kind of bag do you want? A paper one or a plastic one? 嗯，如果说你觉得想要塑料袋的话，你就可以讲 plastics fine, thanks. Yeah,、uh, exactly. 然后呢，呃，前面提到那个单词 cashier 就是这个收银员。Let's go over some vocabulary words. So, what if you have a problem finding what you need? Ah, very simple. You'll find in American grocery stores that there are many store employees just walking around the store looking to help people. So, give us some examples of what you would say when asking for help. Okay, you would first try and get the person's attention by saying, "Excuse me." This person, if this person is busy talking to another person, be sure to wait.、Mm. It's rude in America to interrupt a conversation. How? 这个非常重要，那就给大家强调一下啊，就是如果说你找不到想要的东西呢，你就去找这个超市里面的工作人员啊、呃。如果说他当时正在和别人讲话的话，就切记千万不要去打断别人的讲话，这个是非常粗鲁的事情。Then you can just ask where you can find what you're looking for. Remember, if the store doesn't have what you're looking for out on the shelves, they might have it in the back. 对这个 shelves 就是货架，有的是有的时候有的商品呢可能没有在货架上面摆出来，但是在这个仓库里面是有的。When checking out, this is the time when you'll need to ask the person、uh, about any special、uh, specials the store has, or if the cashier has any coupons you can use. 嗯，这个 specials 呢，就是这个超市的特价商品，然后这个 coupon 是之前讲过的优惠券。你在结账的时候呢，可以，呃，问一下这个收银员这两件事情。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。I think this just about covers it. Any other questions, Kara? No, I guess that's it. All right, guys. This has been this has been Dylan with Morning English. Bye, Kara. Bye, bye.